So HIV infection in people is unique amongst viral infections in that it's, it generates a very potent immune response by the body, but is not cleared by the body. So what we sought to do is to correct the defects in the natural human immune response to HIV to enable it to clear the virus from the body. So our research is focused on describing and defining those elements that are important in particularly CD8 T cell responses against HIV. So what we're ultimately looking to do is correct the defects in these responses in hopes of eradicating the virus out of the body. Well, we identified a molecule on T cells that allows T cells to specifically target HIV in the body and infected tissue. And what we did is we were able to genetically engineer hematopoietic or our blood forming stem cells with this molecule that form T cells in the body and we used a mouse model to do this but the, these T cells that form were able to specifically attack and uh, target HIV infected cells in, in the system. Well, we think the potential clinical use of an approach like this could be combined with successful drug therapy which is currently the best way and has been shown to be the best way to, to suppress the virus in the body. So uh, unfortunately, successful drug therapy doesn't clear the virus from the body. So we believe that our approach, when combined with uh, something like successful drug therapy or successful suppression of the virus, would give the immune system enough of a boost to be able to overcome whatever barrier exists in the body to clear it to clear the virus from the body. So mouse, the mouse model may differ from humans. Um, the, the real way to test that is to perform clinical trials with this approach, which we haven't done yet. There's quite a bit of work left to do before we can go into patients, but we're optimistic that the approach could work similarly in people. And I should point out that if, uh, if you lower the amount of virus in a patient, um, one, <clears throat> they survive better, two, they transmit much less to, other, to their partners. So. The, the fact that you can reduce the amount of virus in, in a patient is actually quite remarkable and would, would be a clinical benefit in and of itself even if we didn't actually affect a cure. This is the first study to show any um, uh, positive result with this approach in a living organism. We had done an earlier study showing that the, the concept of this was reasonable, um, but we were not uh, at that time able to show that it actually worked in the living organism. With this humanized mouse model, we actually could go forward and do those experiments and show that the approach had efficacy against the virus and, and could reduce the replication of the virus and actually protect cells from infection in that animal. The reason this might be important to the public is if this was to be successful and proven in trials, um, in theory a single um, treatment or maybe a handful of treatments with this approach would be enough to control the virus in the body so that the patient wouldn't have to use medication anymore. That's the lofty goal that we're trying to achieve. Um, and so that would be the, excite the excitement for us, is if, if this new type of therapy would work, it's a completely different way to attack the virus than what we're used to seeing. It's not using medications, it's using the patient's own cells to treat the disease. Um, should it be successful, it would be a, 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 an advantage for the patient to be able to go off of the, the uh, relatively toxic and expensive and neurotrophoral drugs that they have to take now. I think the caveat, the caveats to bring forward in this is we're still our years away from testing this in patients. Um, and the other caveat is we, while we did achieve remarkable um, suppression of virus replication in these mice, we didn't completely eliminate it. So at this point, we haven't cured these animals of HIV infection, but we've made um, a, a pretty large step forward in, in allowing their engineered immune system to control the virus. So I think from a scientific standpoint, it's pretty exciting. Um, and from a, from a preclinical standpoint, it has a lot of potential to eventually be used in patients.